One thing people sometimes wonder when using QGIS and the writing expressions is whether the formatting really matters at all. So let's take a look at that. I've got a layer on screen here and it's some contours in the Isle of Skye in Scotland. And the table has the height data for each contour. So let's filter it by right clicking on the layer and going to filter. And we're going to double click on height. So we're going to use height to filter it. And we're going to use in. And then I'll put an open bracket there. And I'll hit all. And I'll add 10 meter contour, 50 meter, 100 meter, and 200 meter. I need to make sure there's a comma between them. So I have written a little expression and I can test it and the filter works fine. So sometimes people wonder, well, does in have to be in capital letters? Let's find out. So it's lowercase now. Test, it still works. How about if there's uh, two lines there? Does that still work? Test, yes, it does. How about if there's a return after a comma? Let's hit test. Yes, that still works. The things that will break an expression are things like having two brackets where there should only be one. And you can see when you've got a little error like that, you'll usually see it's red, which indicates error. Green indicates usually it's okay. So that kind of thing is really useful, but it's probably best to follow conventional formatting and keep it like I had originally. And one other thing is in your expressions, if you do dash dash, then you can write whatever you like. You can write notes to yourself. And it's gray text, which means QGIS ignores that. So sometimes if you want to write a little note to yourself, you can do that in gray text. And that's very common if you're a programmer. So a few tips there. Hopefully you find that useful.